it's the biggest fight of my career. I'm coming off a loss to the guy, and obviously, you know, it's definitely the biggest fight of my career. But, you know, the good thing is, he's heavyweight boxing. One fight changes everything, you know. And we'll see. I'm sure this time when I beat him, we'll see what people is going to say. You know, we'll see. One, two, three losses means nothing to a heavyweight nowadays. You know, if you fight good fighters, the main thing is he can come back. But obviously, this is a fight I must win. It's a must win fight for me. I'm not a guy that worries about pressure, to be honest. I just smile and just take it in my stride. I'm a very adaptable kind of guy, you know I mean? I'll do whatever I need to do to get the win. I don't care about, you know, if I got to rough a guy up or outbox a guy or I knock a guy out, you know, I, I'll do whatever it takes for me to win. The plan is always to, 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 to try and knock someone out if I can, you know. It's all about timing and using the timing and the opportunity to present, that, that present themselves, you know I mean? Obviously, last time, there's different things going on in the fight. A lot of things was, was different. This time, I'm much more together. I feel much better. I'm training good again. There's certain things I didn't do last time in the, in the last camp that I'm doing now that I used to do before. I feel better, more explosive. You know, I'm, I'm sparring better, I'm feeling better. You know, I got more energy and stuff. So it should be good, it should be good. You know, sometimes you go and do new things, you do other things and then you're learning, you, it's not enough time to learn what you're doing or it's not enough time to decide, you try new things, well, that's life. But now obviously, I know what works for me and obviously we've gone back to that and obviously we, we were putting that into place. From the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring, right here at Matchroom Square Garden. This is it. The time has come. The fight starts now. I'm a guy that I always try and do the impossible. I always try and do what people say I can't do and stuff and whatever. I know deep down I can beat Perfect King anyway, you know. I know deep down I can, you know. I know 100% the best of me, you know, even at my worst I can beat him. You know, I know that for a fact. I was a fighter long before I was a boxer. I've been knocking people out for a long time, you know, obviously. I do carry a lot of power in both hands, you know, but Vickens very cagey guy, very experienced guy, very patient guy, tough guy as well. Because last time I didn't land properly and he went down, but he shows resilient. He got up and then he stopped me. So let's go to show. But this time I was going to make sure when I hit him, he stayed down. I made a mistake, you know, and then straight away I knew. The mistake I made, it didn't take me a long time. I realised the mistake I made straight away and then it was like, okay, it's heavyweight boxing. Now I need to get straight back in there. I wanted to get straight back in there and just get it over with and done with straight away. So a few things has happened in between then. We have to wait, we have to this, we have to that. But this is boxing. Everyone's goal is just to get me to the fight in the best physical and mental condition. My mindset was just like, i got a job to do and I'll do whatever. I need to do, I'm not, you know, obviously it's a pandemic and stuff, I have to be careful and protect myself and my team, but life goes on, you know, you can't just shut down because of, because change is happening in the world. My mindset is worry about the win today and worry about looking good in the next fight, so, so, so I don't care about, um, obviously, the plan is to box and do this and box well and do things, whatever, but it's a fight, man. It's a fight. You don't know what you're going to feel on the day. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know the guy's going to come. So the main thing is about being able, as long as I'm able to adapt on the day, that's all that matters to me. I don't care if I need to, to throw two jabs and, and, and move or, or get in a throw power punch or rough him up, whatever. I'll do whatever I have to do, man. I don't, you know, I'm not worried about career best performance. I'm worried about getting the win, you know. I'm so young, I've got loads of fights left in my career, God willing, so I can worry about looking good in another fight. You know, I just worry about winning. I'm never pumped up, man. I'm, I, listen, like, if you come in the changing room one minute before the fight, I'm just like this. I'm still smiling, still winding people up. And this is me, man. I, you know, I, I'm not a guy that needs to psych myself up. I'm a guy that just, when it's go time, I just go like that, you know, I can, I can be sitting here smiling and just get up and just do a hill of violence out of nowhere, just like that. So I'm like, I don't sit and think, oh my God, I need to. No, I'm just, I'm quite relaxed, man. I'm just easy. 
I was already ready to fight last week. You know, so so another um, the extra couple of weeks is making me soak up a lot. I'm learning a lot from the guys. These guys, it's all so experienced. I'm learning a lot from them, and I'm picking things up. You know, I mean, I had my last fights. They feel good, and um, I'm ready to go. I just, you know, this time when when I touch him, this time his whole body is gonna vibrate. You understand? Just coming to do what I do best, and that's to inflict pain, man. You know. And just to, to if I'm gonna make a dog fight, then I make a dog fight. You know, last time boxing, fighting a bit. This time, nah, it'd be, it'd be a different story this time. Very, very different story this time.